Hi. I missed making a video yesterday, but I thought I should still post something. The topic that I wanted to discuss this week is about the movie Ex Machina. I watched it last week and it was really interesting. Basically, the premise of the movie is that a guy wins a competition to go and meet the creator of a big technology company and he gets taken to this remote location and into this house and it turns out that what he's expected to do while he's there is participate in a Turing experiment. So a Turing experiment is one where a person interacts with an artificial intelligence and the test is considered to be passed if the human cannot tell the difference between an AI and a real human. This AI that he's asked to interact with though is extraordinary. Her name is Ava. Even though you can see that she's a machine, as time goes on you become more and more confused about what Ava is exactly. One big thing that the movie got me thinking about is what uh, standard do we as humans set for artificial intelligence? If we are excited about the prospect of interacting with a robot that is intelligent and is able to hold conversation with us, do we naturally reduce our expectations of what an AI has to do to be considered human-like? Watching Ex Machina, I found myself thinking that this ro robot was passing my personal Turing test. So for example, say you had a robot that the purpose of this artificial intelligence was to have a conversation with you about your day, ask you what you got up to and empathize with you on fun or sad things that happened during the day uh, and just have a conversation with you and make you feel like you're having a chat with a friend. If you're aware that you're talking to an artificial intelligence, would you kind of suspend your reality to do so? Kind of like if you're watching actors on a stage performance. So say you're watching a stage show and you have one end of the stage, there are some desks set up and some people sitting at those desks like they're in a classroom, but there's no other props on the stage to show that they're in a classroom. You just know that they're in a classroom. Then the lights on that stage dim and at the other end of the stage, you have people in an even more minimal setting, just sitting on chairs and, um, in rows and the person at the front of the row must be the bus driver because of the the movements that they're doing and the script of the play. You don't need all of the extra props on stage to understand what's going on and you as an audience member can fill in the rest. What if that same thing happens with the way that we interact with artificial intelligence? I mean when you ask Siri a question that I ask simpler questions and sometimes you find that certain questions don't come out with a, an appropriate answer for what she wants so you change the way you ask them and I'm sure with time and with practice you will start to appreciate the skills that Siri has so does your perception of the capabilities of that robot change because you yourself are behaving in a different way and filling in the rest. I hope that this kind of makes sense what I'm getting at and it would be really interesting to see what other people think. It's something about AI that I've never actually thought of before and I'm sure that there's a lot of um, philosophy and research that is actually done on this topic. What does a, an AI need to do to pass your personal Turing test? Also, as a random final note to this video, um, because I've been using the hashtag 10mm on Twitter to share my videos, uh, funnily enough, there is a gun sellers group that uh, is now following me on Twitter and has been sharing all my videos, which I find quite funny because I don't talk about guns at all in my videos and I am living in a country where guns are highly controlled and I personally believe that 
based on the success that we've had here in Australia and the horrible, horrible number of deaths and injuries that keep happening in America and continue to happen, I think that that shows that over in the US there really needs to be something done about gun, gun control. So yeah, I'm just slotting this little bit in at the end of my video because uh, yeah, I don't know. It would amuse me if this video still got shared on the guns page that's following me. We'll see. All right, so that's my video. It's late, but better late than never. Bye.